Let's get going. It's 6.15 p.m. I decided to restart this vlog as a little bit of a reason, a project to have to work on. One of my biggest things is I just don't know what to create a lot of the time. I don't feel like myself when I'm not creating something. Writing a blog post, writing a book, taking pictures, editing photos, video, all that sort of stuff. I don't feel like myself unless I'm creating something. I've got a lot of like tiny little pieces of things that I want to create and I'm not totally sure how they're all going to fit together. So the way I'm going to do that is I've got a little bit of an outline of like different things that I want to kind of work on and focus on. I want to just vlog it. I want to have this camera going when I'm working on developing things as a way to keep myself accountable. I actually heard a while ago, you know, imagine that someone is making a documentary documentary of your life. Imagine the film crews following you around. Like, what are they doing? Like, are you doing something right now that you would want a documentary seeing? A lot of the time the answer is no, just because I'm being lazier than I feel like I should be. But these vlogs are going to be weekly vlogs. They're not going to be daily. I did daily on trips for a while and that was insane. Oh my gosh, that was insane. I want to do weekly vlogs because I want to have a little bit every day that I'm working on. I don't want to feel the pressure to put out a video that's like either really subpar, or it's not very long. I want to have a lot of different pieces to a video and I want to put them together in a flow. The whole document don't create thing that Gary V talks about, I think it's fine to an extent, but at the same time, documenting works when you're already doing it. I'm not already doing it. I need to put more effort into creating, and that's where I'm at right now. I'm working on creating. So with that, I'm gonna go have dinner. To be honest, I have been consistently forgetting to pull this camera out. Last time we talked, it was Thursday. Now it's Saturday, barely morning, and I am going to go get hopefully about an hour of work done, head back to my house. I'm working security at an event this afternoon that runs into the evening, and then right after that, I'm going to go to my dad's 60th birthday party because Pops is turning 60, and that's exciting. Because of that, I don't know what time that's gonna end, given that it's my family, probably not until fairly late. So this might be the only hour of work I get done today. I think I'm gonna work on my t-shirt stuff. Oh, I haven't told any of you what I'm trying to work on right now, have I? Here you see me working on going through every single product that Teespring offers for you to put designs on. Shirts have different cuts and materials and they have way more non-clothing things on the site now. So I'm going through and picking ones that I want to use based mostly on fit and price because I don't wanna release a design that doesn't do well just because I didn't think through what the design was going to be put on. Okay, but I managed to get some hyper-focus time in. I am planning to relaunch Peter's Provisions, which is my, for lack of a better phrase, merch store. It's not really designed around me though. I want it to be relatable things. And I started the store when I was in a little bit of a fantasy D&D &D style kick. I want it to be more relatable thing. I want to do seasonal drops. I think it would be great to eventually run my own clothing company. That's the first time I've said that out loud. So surprise, I'm just not in a place right now where I can devote the amount of time necessary to to completely running it like out of my bedroom kind of a thing like you see some people on like YouTube and TikTok doing. So I have too many other pieces in my life that require attention and I can't go all in on one thing at the level that it would be necessary to. So that's why right now I'm sticking with Teespring. I wasn't sure if I was going to research into other systems and whatnot and Teespring is still gonna be the one that fits the best with what I'm trying to accomplish when it comes to the clothing and whatnot. Keep an eye on my Teespring link which should be in the description below for when things go live. I'm aiming for seasonal drops, like a summer one, and then I'll do a fall one, and then I'll do a winter one and a spring one. I'll go, I'll do that sort of thing. I'll be changing the designs. I'll be changing what's available. I might bring back for some limited runtime kind of things. I don't know, I'm still working on some of that. I'm getting organized first and then putting it out there instead of just throwing it out there like I did last time. I had a big spike, not, and then it completely dropped off. Okay. I'm back in my house. I need to change really, really fat. Oh, I'm wearing a hat, aren't I? I need to wash my hair and then change really, really fat. Well, that vlog didn't go the way I thought it would. It's Thursday. I'm supposed to start my new vlog today. And I'm going to. Um, I've been sick for the past two days, so I did not have any time to make any content. If you subscribe to the Gary V concept of document don't create, the only documentation would have been me laying in bed. I have no idea what this vlog is gonna look like, but I'm gonna go start editing it here in a minute. 
and uh, we're gonna see how it goes. In the course of 20 minutes, I cranked out an entire blog post. After finishing up the section that I had been reading, I just sat down and cranked it out. I'm gonna put this thing away now because it's now after midnight. I mentioned the phrase lifestyle resistance to my mom earlier today when I was talking about how difficult I've found some of this stuff. Cause she asked like, you know, how's, what a terrible noise that is coming from the other shower. I don't know if you can hear that at all. She asked how it was going cause she knew I wanted to get like a bunch of stuff done. And I was like, honestly, I've experienced a lot more lifestyle resistance than I was anticipating. And she said, oh, that's a good, that's a good phrase. I don't know if I made it up myself. I guess I just realized how boring consistency is. I filmed a time-lapse of myself. It was a time-lapse of me on my iPad. It was not me creating things. It was me gathering information. I'm reading a book right now so that I can finish up a couple of blog posts on it. It's just me reading a book. I'm not even doing a lot of the writing for this. This thing right now taking pictures yeah maybe i could get some interesting video of me like trying to get the shot the problem is this is the camera that i use to take pictures and videos i don't have a second camera i guess i could set up my iphone and try and record myself taking pictures but then i don't have the control over all of the settings i mean i i kind of wanted to be in this weird middle ground where i like i wanted to be a content creator but not because i wanted to like have a big platform and like share like cool stuff. I just wanted to share like what I was doing, but I also didn't want to be one of those people that like all they do is teach others how to make content or they put out a course on it and whatnot. Like I want to have some validity behind my name if I ever decide to go the education route. I just don't feel like only putting out a course actually gives any validity to your to your cause for lack of a better term. I'm still kind of figuring out what this video is even gonna be because it's certainly not gonna be me rambling for as long as I have been. <sighs> See you Wednesday. Forgot the mic.